Hey Chris, my name is Dennis with a company called CFO On The Go, uh, Sage 100 uh, contractor partner, actually number two in the country this year. Um, and your question was on estimating. I really think that the basic estimating will work for you, and I'll show you an estimate I've already done. So uh, it's number 27 here. So this was a remodel, and I'm in my basic estimating. And in this case, they were looking to do a kitchen, the kitchen, the bath, and an office, and then they wanted some things done on a T&M. So these are in different phases. So we'll look at the kitchen remodel. And then I have multiple items underneath that. So, you know, there's site work and demolition that has to be done. Like, let me just open this up a little bit more here. You know, set up a temporary kitchen. Uh, we figured eight hours. And so what happens here is um, a lead person, a carpenter, and then some plywood. And then we have a demo crew and all of the things they're going to need uh, and a number of man hours. And so these are assemblies. So next time I have a general demolition crew, I just type in 2200. It populates all of these items. And as you can see, these two are blank. There's no man hours here because we didn't need it on this job. And so um, you can override things. You know, down below there's a dumpster, you know, um, we said one, but, you know, you might have to dump it more than once. Uh, if I go into the next item and we'll just go to carpentry, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's an item for doing the walls and the sheetrock. Um, what else have I got on here? Let's go finishes. And so I have a cabinet installation. And so, again, 18 feet of cabinet, you know, uh, it's... $390 a foot is the way we estimate it. Um, and then we upgraded to the Cherry, so it was an extra 30. Uh, number of hours to install all these per foot. So it's 0.89 man hours per each foot. So it takes the 0.89 times 18, comes up with 16 hours times our $35 rate. That's my price. So once these are built, the next job is just a piece of cake because you're just popping in these assemblies or just bringing in an old job in and just changing the quantities. If I scroll down a little bit, um, you know, here's a range top and cook top installation. You know, man hours to do each one of those. The refrigerator, the oven, oven insulation, the trash cover. So all of these things are, are in here. If I don't have this on this job, I come in here just like I do. You probably use an Excel. I come in here and delete that because I'm not going to do that. Uh, over here, you might have noticed as I was going through in the vendor column, who am I going to buy these from? These are coming from Sandy's Cabinets. This is uh, all these items here are coming from Mead. Uh, and the reason that's important at this point is I can come up here and say export and create a purchase order for this job, for those items, and send that PO right to Sandy's Cabinets uh, on what I want. If I have... Um, Close this real quick. If I want to attach pictures in here, I can. So if you went out and did this, doing this estimate, you took a bunch of pictures of their existing kitchen, or you had a set of plans with measurements on it, scan those in and attach it. So it's now part of the estimate. But uh, this works really well. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more about it. I just wanted this to be an introduction. Same thing on the bath. If I go to bath, here's the bath. Here's the tile for the floor. Here's the cabinet installation. Uh, again, once these are built you use them over and over again so the next job literally is 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 probably minutes not hours and the nice part is it now has the information to create your purchase orders it's going to move these numbers over here into your budget so now i can see if i'm making money on those items because i'll be buying materials and i'll be charging labor to these individual items i can now tell you if i'm making money on those items or i need to raise my prices maybe on future work anyway Basic estimating in Sage 100, I think it will work well for you. Um, and then the rest of it uh, is here. Uh, so in the core, you're going to get all of your accounting reporting, accounts receivable for your billings, uh, accounts payable. In accounts payable, nice part, uh, if you're using subs, it will track their insurance expirations, uh, full payroll. Project management's got a lot of meat to it. Uh, Process your change orders, which is obviously is important to you. Uh, create purchase orders, create subcontracts, uh, and then also do some analysis at the same time on this cost to complete. 
comes with a scheduling module, very similar to Microsoft Project or SureTrack. Uh, then we have the estimating module. And then the only one you're not getting is the service receivables, which is work orders, and then the inventory and equipment. I don't think you really need that. Anyway, Chris, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want a proposal or you need more information, uh, call us, CFO on a go. My name is Dennis. It's uh, 800-659-5851. So 800-659-5851. Give us a call if you want a proposal or if you would like to see something else. We can do another video for you. Or we'll just jump online with you and uh, really drill down into some of the details that you want to see. Thanks.